Who are your elite quarterbacks? Name the elite quarterbacks. Don't elite? Me. Yes. You would consider elite Ooh, quarterbacks geez. in the NFL. Uh, Tua is Tua elite in your mind? Not yet. Why? Because I, in order for me to consider you elite, I got to see it more than once, and we've seen it for three games. Not even last year when he before he got hurt. No, it's not enough. No, I need in order to be elite, you have to have a full season, and then I have to see it twice, two full seasons. So Hertz is not elite, elite yet in your mind yet. Hertz is no, not elite. Not yet? elite. He's really good. Is Dak elite? No. Why not? I mean, well, we question Dak's ability to protect the football every year. Elite quarterbacks, we don't have that question every single year. Josh Allen is elite. Yes. Obviously, Mahomes is elite. Yes. Is Herbert elite? No. Why? Um, what have we seen Herbert do that's elite? He's been really good. But in the playoffs, have we seen Herbert be elite? They had a historic game, and he was on the wrong end of that last year in the playoffs, right? Is Lamar elite? Yes. Why? He's an MVP, and he's – if you look at what he's done with the system he's been put in – his win to loss ratio with all the injuries and everything he's dealt with, and they still come out winning every year. Mm -hmm. That's the elite quarterback. But he hasn't won, you know, we haven't seen him in an AFC championship game yet. Yeah, but I mean, in order to win Super Bowl, mm -hmm. a lot has to go your way, but that doesn't make you not an elite quarterback. Okay, let's keep going with this. Burrow's elite. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, how, this is a good one. Brock Purdy, is he elite? No. Come on, man. Why would you Brock even laugh? Why would you laugh while saying no? Brock Purdy's not elite. Why man. not? Come on now. Brock Purdy's playing well. He is, but Jesus Christ, man, that roster is incredible. <laughs> well, so hold on a second. Roster's incredible. Uh, There's so many other rosters listen, that are incredible. He's playing well, and he's better. Here's what I say about Brock Purdy. He's more than what we gave him credit for. Brock Purdy is not just not losing the games anymore. He's actually winning games. And in order to take the next step as a quarterback, you have to go win games. You can't just not lose them. And I think we can agree that with his run that he's been on, yeah. he's legit. Elite, no. It takes a lot to be elite. I mean, one guy's elite, he's just going to get to play, play four snaps. You know? You know what I'm talking about. I mean, yes, you I'm throw very passes very on the side involved. Of the who you're referring yeah. to, Gerald. Yeah. Yes, I know elite, who you're talking here's the thing. about. I, there's a lot of terms we use too loosely and we give it to people too easily. You know, like, I worked hard to be an elite defensive tackle in this league. It took a lot for me to be considered elite because I did it on a team that wasn't winning mm -hmm. and I still was able to produce playing from behind. And I don't think people understand how hard it is. Like, that's why... T.J. Watt, I put him where I put him because week one, they were losing badly to San Fran. He still had three sacks. Do you know how hard it is to get three sacks when you're playing from behind? They're not passing the ball. Right. So in order to still be a guy in a small market that people don't see you and yes. still be considered – that's that's very difficult. Well, so I don't I don't pass the word elite very easily. I just it's, don't. It's tough to get sacks on a team that's quarterbacked by uh, uh, an elite quarterback like Brock Purdy. See, here's where I'm going on this. Here's where I'm going on this. Here's where I'm going on this. Okay, is that he might not be considered elite, right? But he's playing elite quarterback at a very high he level is, no, 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 not very high level. he's playing at elite level he's playing, he's at playing a high it level. like okay arizona cardinals are coming in uh, they want to put our pelt on the wall i'm gonna go 20 to 21 um who? i know 20 of 21 hey, no, 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 make, make fun all you want you got to beat the teams in front of you you got to ask ask the man in the in the corner about the Arizona Cardinals and and how they couldn't beat okay, the can Dallas I ask Cowboys. You a couldn't beat them. Hold on, I'm not, I'm not done. I'm okay, not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. <laughs> I'll let you finish. Okay. They call that I don't know if you notice this. There's not a producer in our ears saying go to break like yes. there is on Sunday. Yes, okay. you're right. All right. So so here here's what I'm also saying mm -hmm. is that his play has removed the whole conversation of what happened with Trey Lance from the table. Gone. That's gone. Okay. His play with the contract that he has allows them to pay Bosa and a whole bunch of other people mm -hmm. are going to get theirs because of what he's doing playing elite quarterback mm -hmm. 
at the rate that he is being paid. Okay. Put it all together. Yes. And the fact that he's not losing games for them. And I understand we haven't seen them down seven, three and a half to go. Can Brock Purdy go 80 yards mm-hmm. with only one timeout? We haven't seen that yet. And I totally pick up what you're putting down right there. But the way that he's playing and what he means mm-hmm. for this team and how this team is playing around him, he's an elite quarterback. Okay, can I ask a couple questions? Yes, you're, now the floor is yours, sir. Okay. Yes. Does he have a top 10 player at every positional offense? Um, Debo Samuel, he's not top 10? When Debo Kittles, Samuel... Hold on, a second, hold on a minute, I'm going to answer your question. Uh, Debo Samuel, top 10. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, top 10. Okay. Uh, uh, Trent Williams. Okay. Okay. Uh, George Kittle. Okay. Yeah. What about his fullback? He's top 10. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does he have defensive player of the year on his team? Okay, so you're saying because they're all that Does good. Does he have the best number two in football right now? So you're saying Brady had a bunch of guys with name tags. Peyton Manning would, you know, did it with Dominique Rhodes I mean, and stuff he, like that. Is that what you're saying? Brock Purdy's a front runner. No, I, I understand. I what never you're saying. said that. No. I said no, we, saying no, he, what I said was is Bro, he's not elite. I've but, said Brock, Brock Purdy, Purdy is legit. But Brock Purdy but is elite? top. Brock Purdy elite? Right now, Hold on a second. Let's keep going here. This is too good. Brock Purdy right now is top ten in the league in quarterbacking. Yeah, right. he is. Without doubt, he's a top ten elite. player himself. This doesn't make you elite. Okay. He's good. He's good. He's I'm playing keep well. This drum. Playing well. I'm not going to stop really pounding good football. Yeah. He's that played, doesn't he's make you elite. He's played 10 games, 11 games. That, that, that's what I'm saying. That yeah. doesn't make you elite. But he's playing elite quarterbacking, right? Like he's he is. He's playing really good. <laughs> he's playing really not elite. <laughs> he's not elite. <laughs> he's, he's five touchdowns. He's playing really good. He's not elite. If he was playing elite, he'd have 12 touchdowns. I have nothing bad to say right? about Brock Purdy. Except but the question is, is he elite? No, he's not. Okay. I have zero bad to say about Brock Purdy. Well, the, that dude has careful. proven everybody wrong that said that Cheryl. he was just a guy. We were talking. Be careful. Be, yeah, be careful. We There's were talking before. Who's a more fans. sensitive? Who's a more sensitive fan group? 49er fans or Swifties? <laughs> That's what we were saying before. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 